it might seem as if you have only two choices. To stay in the relationship as it is, or to leave. But it's not that black and white. You have more choices. So let's take a look at alternatives. First of all, you could take a break. And that just means that for some time, you stop interacting in the way you used to interact. You might want to take a break just from, for example, physical intimacy. Or you might want to take a break from meeting up altogether. Or you want to might take a break from having all kinds of contact whatsoever. If you want to take a break and the other person doesn't like it, know that you don't need consent from the other person or, an, or agreement. Um, you can take a break whenever you want to take a break. Then another option is to renegotiate a downgrade. So maybe you're now girlfriend or boyfriend and you just want to remove the label. So you want to downgrade from a labeled relationship to a non-labeled relationship. Or maybe you want to end a marriage with someone, but you do want to remain good friends. Or maybe you just want to have no physical intimacy anymore. So the difference with a break, of course, is that in this, um, the break is only temporary. And temporary can mean one day or a few hours, but it can also mean a year. Uh, whatever you feel you would like. And with taking a break or renegotiating a downgrade, in both cases, you can also, you don't have to be super sure about it. You can just try it out. Feel free to experiment a bit in relationships. Many people ponder and ponder whether they want to end the relationship or not, and they're trying to get to a very final conclusion. But that can also paralyze you. So it might be better to just experiment a bit, see how it feels to take a break for two days. See how it feels to not have physical intimacy anymore with this person. See how it feels to remove the, the, the girlfriend boyfriend label. Um, these are just some examples. There are a million ways to do these kind of things. And hopefully you feel empowered to take a break or renegotiate at any time in your relationship. And otherwise, if you don't feel empowered to do so, or if the other person doesn't respect your wishes, that's a huge red flag and you'll see this back at the reasons to actually end a relationship because it's important the other person respects you and your wishes. So I hope this short video helped you see that it's really not that black and white. There are alternatives to ending a relationship. You can take a break or really go a downgrade for example. If you like this little video and you want to know more about when to end a relationship or not, um, I made an exercise on it and I'll put the link somewhere visible for you. Um, so you can do that. And also this little video is actually part of a video lesson I made on the topic when to end a relationship. And that is actually part of a course, a video course I made which is called Fulfilling Relationships Become Skilled. And uh, this video course is on my website. There are a few lessons on free preview um, for which you don't even need to fill in your email address or whatever. You can, just, uh, you can just see those lessons. One is on kickstart and clear communication. One is on self-love. And then there's another one which is what can you change about your social life in general. Uh, and in specific, what to do with the, the need many feel to change other people. Yeah, so we're going to talk about acceptance, of course. And, um, and then there are 50 more lessons or so, which are not a free preview. I'm sorry, <laughs> I need to make money as well. <laughs> so that's it. I hope uh, you may be benefited by uh, the free content I put up. That's it.
Have a great day.